So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to describe your auction from the images that were provided to you. And this is how we're going to set up your Excel document. So just open up a blank Excel document. In column A, you're going to put your lot number. In column B, you're going to put your consigner number. Column C is going to be your condition. And column D is going to be your description. I'm going to minimize this. And we're going to go into our auction folder and open up our images. So we want to make this bigger, just right click and open with your preferred viewer, mine is photo gallery, you can use whatever you like, or you can just simply double click and it will open it with your default viewer. So here we have our image, this is our first slot sticker for this auction. So over here, we're going to type in one, press enter, press two, three, Come back up here, select the first cell, hold down shift and click the last cell, and then this little square right here at the very bottom, you're going to click that and just drag down. And as you see, the number is changing as you drag down. This will just go ahead and put in all your lot numbers for you. Our auctions are generally in between 150 lots to 210 lots, so just for training purposes, we'll drop this down to 180. So in order to get your description, you're just going to go off your photos. So just um, pay attention to your lot stickers as you're going through your photos. Sometimes they're they're generally in order. Sometimes they get a little out of order. So just always make sure you're paying attention. So right now we're going to start typing into line one. You're going to type in your consigner number, which is your next sticker. And you'll see this sticker right here. On the bottom of the sticker, you'll see a three or four digit number. This is your consigner or seller number. This just lets us know who we need to pay after the auction closes. And then up on top, you will see your conditions, which are 24 hour as is and untested. You will pop that sticker into these two. So right here we have 393 as our consigner and our condition is going to be 24 hours, which will be circled or highlighted. Anything that you see with an N means the item is new. You won't type that into the description. But you will see the condition that accords to the lot, either circled or highlighted on this sticker within any lot. Next is what we call your identifier photo. This is generally the brand or whatever you need to describe this lot. So for here, we're going to go ahead and type in color grand. Be sure to capitalize the first letter of each word as you type your description. It's more aesthetically pleasing on the website and looks more professional. And then you scroll over to your next, and that will be what the item is. So you've already got your brand, and then this is what the item is. It's going to be a 100 count kill pen set. And then you scroll to your next image, and then it's going to be the full picture of the lot. And it's got some highlights, you know, features and whatnot. We call those highlight photos. And then you'll see it goes right into the next lot. So that ends your description in this one. So you come down here. And your next consigner, which is right here, is going to be 542. Let me type that in. Come over here, give it a 24 hour guarantee, and then go into your description based on your next identifier photo. Which, as we can see here, it's a Shopkins Season 6 Limited Season Chef Club. So you can just go ahead and pop that in over here. It's going to be Shopkins Season 6 Limited. And then scrolling through your images, you'll see some feature highlight photos and another one. And then here's our, the picture of our whole lot. And as you can see, this is a playset. So just type in playset at the end of that description. That will end that description. Going into your next lot. Okay, so now when you see this, this will let you know that all this, all these lots are the same thing, which just means we had multiples of an object and instead of photoing each one, we're just going to use the same image for each lot because they are in the same condition or they're the same exact thing, whatever the case may be. So this is snow lot 3, 4, and 5 are the same and they belong to consigner 848. So we're going to come over here, type in 848, and since the N is highlighted, we are going to give it a 24 hour guarantee. Anything with the N automatically gets a 24 hour guarantee. I'll touch more on that later. And here you can see that 
we don't have an identifier photo, so you're going to have to zoom in on this one, which is easily done. And you can just, um, if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can just go ahead and enlarge that, or you can hit this little scroll button right here and it will enlarge it for you. So we can see that this is a Christmas mug. So you're just going to simply type in Coca Cola Christmas mug. As we don't have any other identifying features or information that we can put in. So come out of here, come over here and select the first consigner cell. Shift and all the way over to the description. We'll highlight all three of these. You're going to right click and copy and then select the cell down below it and the one right next to it and just paste. And it will paste the description into all three of those since it is the same log. Next, we see it again with six and seven here. So this lets us know six and seven are the same. And this belongs to 332. And since 24 is highlighted, we are going to give this a 24 hour guarantee tab over into our next cell. And here there's no identifier photo. So when you see something like this, it might be a little confusing. So what we can do is just kind of look here and we'll just go ahead and type in laser X laser gaming set is what we'll go ahead and call that. And then just once again, just Highlight all of those cells, copy and paste, and you can simply do a copy with control C and once you go down into your next cell, you can hit control V and that will paste it for you if you prefer keyboard commands. All right, moving on to lot eight. This one is gonna belong to 622. It's got a N highlighted, which means it gets a 24 hour guarantee. So we're gonna pop in 24 hour guarantee right here. And this is what we, really try to do is get a picture of these Amazon stickers because it gives you a pretty spot on description. Never type in new. We don't use that in our descriptions. So you're just going to start out with Minecraft periodic table of elements. And that will be the description. If you want, you can scroll through and we can see this is a set. So if you'd like, you can put set at the end of your description. Add that extra little highlight there at the end. And that will be the last picture for that lot. Moving on to lot nine. This is going to belong to 536. It's going to get a 24 hour guarantee since the end is highlighted. And you'll come across these ends. We don't use them anymore. It just lets us know the item is new. We, like I said, we don't put that in our description. But going forward, you'll just see the 24 of it. A in the U, which is 24 hour guarantee as is or untested. And to touch on that 24 hour guarantee just means that it's been tested for functionality and the customer has 24 hours to return it if there's a problem. As is means the item is sold as is, might have damage, might be something wrong with it. So the customer buys it without a warranty of any type. And untested is kind of like as is, as to where there's no warranty. It just means we couldn't test the item for one reason or another. It's missing a charger or we don't have the proper plug or batteries to test it, so on and so forth. So here we see that the brand is Kangaroo. Scroll to our next image and it's a pretend food set. And that's gonna be your whole description. And if you'd like, you could put at the end here of 120 pieces. And then you'll scroll through into your next lot. So here, you're gonna run into this sometime, don't get confused. It should be in the next picture. So you see your lot number and your description and your next image is going to be your consigner. This happens. Sometimes we can't get all the information into one photo. As you can see, it's got the end highlighted. So we're going to give that a 24 hour guarantee. And then we're going to scroll back and type in the fine So, and then we're going to just type in that description. You don't have to type in all of like the color or anything, but we, we prefer that you put 
you know, the style and all that right there in the description. So, and then going back through, you'll see your container sticker again, and then it will go into your identifier photo and more highlight photos, and then the picture of the whole lot. We're on to number 11, same thing. We're gonna go 404 for our consigner, give it a 24 hour guarantee. And then, sorry about that. And then that's our description for that lot. And then it's got plenty of feature photos and goes into the last photo. And that's just your basic overview on how to type descriptions. It's pretty much just going to be the proper order is different for each auction. We have shoe auctions, apparel auctions, general auctions. So it's just going to be the brand, which is the company that makes it. If there is a gender or if it's for children, if that's applicable, we go ahead and put that into the, the description. So just as an example, say we have a shirt that belongs to Consider 123, we can give it a 24 hour guarantee, it'll just be a Nike women's racerback and pop size small. If there's a style, you would put that right before what it is. So say it's a Nike women's uh, dry fit racerback tank top size small. You would just go ahead and pop that into the description. That was just an example. Um, we also have dollar options that are really basic descriptions. Um, I'll go more into that as training goes on. Um, it will literally just be just the consigner. 24 hour guarantee or whatever the condition may be, and you'll type something like toy or um, kitchen or per se, I don't know, like tool. Since the bid started a dollar, we just do really vague descriptions on those. Um, and I will give you an email template for the different types of descriptions that we do. And in the next video, we will be going over how to rename images.